Evan mentioned that he was in Montpelier earlier. That's where hundreds gathered at the state house for a hearing on an abortion rights bill. Vermonters on both sides testified under the Golden Dome. Here again, Devin Bates. Hundreds of people crowded the Vermont State House Wednesday, where a public hearing on the abortion bill brought out passionate voices on both sides wanting to testify before their state representatives. There are 44,000 survivors of abortion living in the U.S. today, and their lives matter. Therefore, I implore all of you, our legislatures re representing Vermont, to make a responsible decision, not a political one, but a decision that considers the consequences of your choices and one that values human life. The future of Roe v. Wade and access to safe and legal reproductive care looks uncertain, and this bill will help to ensure that reproductive freedom is protected in Vermont, no matter what happens at the federal level. The legislation ensures politics remains removed from personal health care decisions and leaves medicine to medical professionals and their patients. Even those who weren't able to get inside the House chambers listened from the hallways, staying until the very last testimony. The fact of the matter is I just believe that life begins at conception. But beyond that, I've worked with women as a pastor who have had the symptoms of post-traumatic stress syndrome. This is not good for a woman. There's currently at least 90 representatives supporting the bill, and Governor Phil Scott, who said he supports a woman's right to choose, has said he's waiting to see how it moves through the process. If today's hearing was any indication, however, Vermonters are paying close attention. I personally stand for protecting a woman's right to choose and protecting any human. Who am I to say that I, somebody should do something or should not? And I'm just here to, to support that and protect it so that all women going forward can make the choice that's right for them. Again, our Devin Bates reporting for us. In New York, Governor Andrew Cuomo signed a reproductive health bill just last month.